All right, sorry, my last video timed out. Um, as you can see, we just finished the total contractual expenses. Now I'm into the non-contractual expenses. I want to bold that. Groceries, dining out, clothing, um, cell phone, and I can keep going. Okay, so we'll just do this. Uh, groceries will go 150. Dining out, I'm going to go 75. Clothing, 50 bucks. I shop at Goodwill. Cell phone, 100. Oh, 100. We better put savings in there, right? Otherwise, I wouldn't be a good teacher if I wasn't telling you to save. Really, that should be a contractual expense, but um, this is what it is. Okay. Um, so if I just do a little math quick, I'm going to try this. I'm going to take this column. I'm just going to do this on the side here. Equals. I'm going to see how much money I would have left to play with before. So I had $1,900 left to play with with my non-contractual expenses. Um, just for the sake of making this quicker for you, I'm just doing a few here. So total... We add these up. I go equals in that column. Type sum, S U M. Double click on it here. I drag, hit enter. Oh, do that right. Four hundred and seventy-five dollars. So in this case, I didn't even come close to spending all of this. I'm going to make these into dollar signs, right? So we know it's money, but. Um, like I said, just for this particular uh, example, um, I'm going to um, just not spend all of it. And then after this, you think you might be done, I would like you to put net gain, net, net gain slash loss. So basically... How to figure that is you're going to take your income amount, which is the 3500 I'm going to show you how to do this. So you type equals in this cell down here. You're not type. Hit the equals key. You're going to take the, your income amount minus your total expense or total contractual expenses minus, and that's just the minus key. These little minuses in here are the minus key next to the equals key. These two. And it's putting them in there, and you just hit enter. Okay, so really, I have $1,400 left. So I am a net gain. And in the business world and finance world, when something appears in red, that means you are um, you have that money left over. That's good. Red is good. If you leave it in black, that's telling me that you are at a net loss. So obviously, don't spend more money than you have. Keep it in the red and make it red. You just click on the cell, go up here to the A, find the drop down red color, and I'm running in the red. Okay. Now, obviously, um, you won't have this much left over. Try to spend as much as you can. You'll have more areas to put into the non contractual expenses, and then you'll probably spend more money up here for that. So, this is what it should look like. You'll have to email this back to me. Um, so now to add the borders, so I just highlight, pull and drag down, and I get it around the entirety of my spending plan. Okay, then I go right up here, see the font, and then the borders. If you let your mouse hover over something, it's going to tell you what it is. This is the borders uh, key. I'm just going to go like this, all drop down, all borders. I have that. I'm going to bold my spending plan, italicize it. I might even make it a little bit bigger, the title. And if it's too big, I just pull and drag. If these columns here, if these you put these numbers in here and it shows up as uh, hashtag signs, just double click left with your left mouse button on the edge of the column, and it'll fit it to size. Okay. I'm going to make mine just a little bigger. Uh, you can put a background color with the paint fill bucket there on your 